where does the this whole idea of buying an engagement ring and giving an engagement ring where does where, where does the history of that come from where did that start so first record of ring giving mm. was the egyptians they were made out of hemp or other um fairly perishable materials fast forward to a bit more sinister times during the roman period and um wives would often be given rings to attach to keys to signify ownership you know that they were married to someone um but the first documented diamond engagement ring was in 1477 and it's um it's quite a popular story because there's a bit of controversy surrounding it which you know people will tell about because people love dragging down the diamond industry and they uh you know I think it's just an easy target for people. Again, going back to this documentary, um, nothing lasts forever. There is someone on it that makes a claim in reference to this story, and it is just fully inaccurate. So if I just go through the the history, the first mm. engagement ring, we can take it from there. So it's the first recorded history of, of a diamond engagement ring being given. There's hints to it previous to this, but this is the first recorded instance. So in 1477, there was this guy called Archduke uh, Maximilian III or something like that. And he commissioned the first diamond engagement ring to give to Mary of Burgundy. Okay. In the documentary, they say that the story was it was a business deal. It was all part of this big, massive land grab on the Archduke Maximilian's side. And that the diamond ring actually went to Mary, Mary Burgundy's father. Okay, so I thought I'd just look into this because it's, it's a pretty big claim. And I thought, yeah, maybe that could just ruin the whole cultural and sentimental aspect of giving someone a diamond ring. It's actually really easy to find out this. I couldn't find anything in relation to this land grab story and everything. But what I did find is that Mary of Burgundy inherited all of her father's land in January 1477 because he was killed by the French whilst he was warring, trying to protect his domain. Archduke Maximilian and Mary of Burgundy got married in August 1477. So apparently, according to the documentary, the engagement ring got given to a dead guy. <laughs> like, to me, it's absolutely insane that something will go out on a platform as big as Netflix and it's like it's just full of inaccuracies and full of lies and that is just like the most insanely blatant one and it's like not even really relevant to the diamond industry at all but what was the the narrative from their end to tell that story they want to just tear down its sentimental value and say that um it, it's just worthless it's what the diamonds are worth diamonds are worthless yeah and that like the the whole you know uh, origin is founded on fallacy right a lot of people as well commonly um, believe that De Beers invented the engagement ring. They didn't. Obviously, the Archduke Maximilian invented the diamond engagement ring mm -hmm. and gave it to a dead guy. All De Beers did is they ran a very, very successful advertising campaign mm -hmm. saying, if you're going to buy a diamond engagement ring, make it a De Beers ring. And it was like the diamonds last forever thing. Mm -hmm.